Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Let's get into some 2024 spring things that tall women should be wearing. I was doing some research and just trying to find other brands for us to shop at. And you guys already know the struggle is real, but you also know that I make regular brands work for me. And I'm also the girl who buys pieces that are of great quality so that I don't have to keep buying it over and over in season after season. So as tall women, we definitely have to start shopping way before the season gets here. That's solely because a lot of the average high girlies are grabbing everything. And it just takes us a little bit longer to find things that are stylish that fits our frame. And for me, and I know you guys are thinking the same thing. You don't want to be left out of certain trends or just things being out of stock because of our size. And again, most of the average height girls are wearing like oversized things that may fit us regular, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I wanted to do this video so you guys can start jumping on the trends now and what you guys will be seeing this 2024 spring. I'm going to pop in some photos of some things that I saw online on some of the fashion websites and stuff or just random photos but I also have a lot of the pieces already which is why I always say choose quality over quantity any day. 99% of the times these pieces are coming back and forth through fashion through the years and if you bought something that is of great quality you don't have to buy it again which leads me to the first trend that you guys are gonna be seeing that you've already seen and those are shorts okay there's a ton of shorts out that you could actually wear I would say for me I'm a leather short girl period okay I do have some trouser shorts but they are more of a they're not like a short short um they're like an average length but short shorts are in now if you're a girl who does not like to wear short shorts you can always wear a pair of tights with it wear a longer shirt with it have the shirt open something that's going to make you feel comfortable the other thing you can do is you don't have to always necessarily wear a pair of shoes with it like heels because heels can also make the shorts feel shorter make you feel a little bit self-conscious but if you do not care about any of that definitely pick you up some shorts they have really short shorts now i'm not even sure what they call in those things because back in the day we used to call them panty shorts, <laughs> but they're very, very short. Girls are wearing sheer over it or even lace so that you could actually see the silhouette of the quote unquote panty shorts. <laughs> um, <laughs> or they're wearing like really, really long tops. So shorts is the first thing I have. Maybe I want to say one really great pair that I know is going to last. I don't even know when I'm ever going to like get rid of them because they are a beautiful leather and I paid a pretty penny for them. Okay, for that reason, so I don't have to keep buying it because like I said, I know for sure shorts are gonna come in, come out in usually the same style. So if you get like a classic pair, you're good to go. If you get something that is very on trend, you might have a little bit of difficulty trying to I'll match it up in like a future um, year season if that makes sense so shorts is the first thing if you don't have shorts definitely get you some shorts for this spring so places that I like to shop for shorts I would say check out reformation and in other stories they're not tall girl specific but you guys have to really start reading these labels and these details because you'd be surprised at how many items can actually fit our frame without looking off if that makes sense so read the details if you're shopping online if you're in the store make sure you are reading those labels the second trend for 2024 tall women should be looking into our high-rise trousers now you guys know how i feel about high-rise pants on tall women we it doesn't necessarily always look the best on us because it's really making the bottom of us look even longer and i would top torso look shorter so when you are buying something like that try to balance that out 
balance it out. If you're going to tuck your shirt in, have it like fluffed out a little bit. If it's a t-shirt, just really try to balance it out. If you wear something that is, that is tucked in, that is fitted more of like a tank top, balance it out with something that's going to take away from them looking extremely long at the bottom and your torso looking really short. Now there are girls who actually do have a shorter torso, so they have to figure out ways to make their clothes look balanced on them. And it's the same thing for these high-rise trousers. But if you do not have high-rise trousers, for me, I can wear a 34 and a half, 34. Those seem to be okay with me. I can wear a slightly small heel. If you are taller than I am, you're gonna have to get something a little bit longer. So I bought mine from Favorite Daughter. They go up to a 34, but there's about an inch, and, mm, an inch that you could actually bring down they're high rise they're pleated they're really nice if you don't like double pleats they're not the pants for you however you could actually go to your tailor and have them remove one of the pleats and kind of bring them over that's what i did because it was giving me like a bulge in the front but they are very very great great quality the other place you can check out is frame read the details guys because like i said some of these designers do sneak in a pair of two a pair or two that the inseam is like 36. So do your research. Don't get stuck on just specifically shopping at tall girl brands because if you do, you're literally gonna be dressing like the other tall girls out here. Like I don't want you guys to like do that if that makes sense. Like they're there, you know, some girls they have to do it, but get creative if you really like to look different from everybody else. It's not that many people who do fashion or who love fashion or who just love to look nice and put together do a lot of different things. So especially for us tall women, we are limited. So check those out, read the labels, read the details see what works for you and get you a tailor you guys already know how i feel about a tailor a tailor is your best friend whether it's a shirt pair of pants pants you want to get cropped jackets you want to get cropped get a tailor it is your best friend i'm probably always gonna say that find you a tailor and you're golden right, so the third fashion trend that i'm seeing for 2024 are roses now I'm not a girl who loves the tons of roses all over my clothes, but I did see some really nice pieces that had like single roses. Um, maybe the skirt had a lot of roses on it, but not so much the top. So if you don't want to go like overkill with an entire outfit full of roses, then get you something for your neck, like a choker. Uh, maybe get something that has like a rose, um, like a rose on the shoulder of a shirt something like that if you don't want to get anything that is like flooded with it definitely try to find something that has the least amount of roses and go from there now don't get me wrong there are some dresses that are like fabulous that have a ton of roses on it and i'll pop in a photo um but sometimes it can be a bit overkill for some people but if you're going to an event and you want to stand out definitely get something like this <laughs> otherwise get something that you can put around your neck that is a little bit more subtle when it comes to wearing roses this spring if you like this video so far make sure you are hitting that like button so the fourth trend that I'm that you guys are gonna be seeing in this spring that I think tall girls should dip their toes into would be sheer skirts transparent skirts whatever they want to call it now, if it's a little risque for some of you guys, but they are, again, wearing those shorts under it and wearing, like, longer jackets. So it's kind of like wearing a bikini bottom, I guess. <laughs> you are a little risky. <laughs> um, you can definitely go for that. Or you can go for something that will kind of take away from it looking so risque. For me, the color black always looks a little bit more sexy. So wearing something that is monochrome, with that type of style, you may be able to get away with it and not feel so like naked, I guess. <laughs> so definitely check out transparent or sheer skirts for this spring. Again, if it's not your thing, go for something else, maybe a pair of pants and that you can wear like shorts under it. Just get creative. If you really wanna jump into the trendy thing this spring, 
we can do it girls we don't have to be stuck with the boring clothes because we're tall i'm sorry we don't okay so just get creative if you have to spend a little bit more it's just what it is now when it comes to spending a little bit more i will say <laughs> For trendy pieces, I'm, I do not recommend spending a ton of money because it's not going to be in style for the next season. All right. So think about things like that when you are purchasing something that is trendy. Always keep that price in mind and keep that cost per wear in your mind, guys. You already know how I feel about wasting money and not being able to wear something that's great quality for multiple wears. And the last trend that I wanted to bring for my tall girls would be the 90s vibe casual attire. So it's like casual business attire, which has been out for a while now. So again, Favorite Daughter does have nice trousers and they're about a 34 inch. I child, I think they, they had 34 with the inch. So that's 35 in total, right? You want to get like really nice tailored white tops. The Frankie Shop has a really, really cute one. And guys, I screwed up the other day. It was in my bucket because it came back in stock. But your girl freaking got sidetracked and, and now it's gone back out of stock. So get you some nice white button up shirts. You can get fitted ones. You can get oversized ones. You can throw on ties with them. Get creative for your spring wear guys. Again, the struggle is real for us tall girls, but we don't have to be excluded from the trends because guess what? Models are tall. I just don't understand why they don't make things that fit tall women. They make things for plus size women, but they definitely leave us out. But I'm here to help you. We don't have to be out of the trends and stuff. We just have to make regular brands work for us. That's it. Those are five things that tall girls should be wearing this spring that's on trend. So if you guys want to find out more of the pieces or styles that's going to be on trend for 2024 spring definitely check out vogue check out some of the insider uh, magazines they have a ton of stuff and just make it work for you every trend is not for our frame and we already know that figure out what works for you find the item and start to slay in this spring guys so thank you guys for tuning into this video make sure you are commenting below and liking the video and subscribing to the channel guys i really appreciate it so if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and coco styles ny and my style blog which i have a ton of tips and i'm going to be adding in some more lifestyle stuff over there so you guys can check that out that is coco styles nyc and my personal style service Services, CocoStylesNY.com, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.